Now one may ask about pull factors which uh, take a person away from jihadism or violent uh, jihadist uh, ideologies. There are several and one, a person has to have self-reflection. Uh, a person must choose not to ignore the realities on the ground. We saw corruption not only in the leadership but in terms of the fighters how they would also have uh, gross injustice in their thoughts in the comments they would make, for example, blatant anti-Semitism or a subscription to conspiracy theory, so they are following doubt, not certainty of proof. Uh, the hatred for certain people or, or religions when they haven't thought through their similar kind of so-called offending objects in their own faith, uh, which contradict other higher principles of justice and mercy. So in the end, I would say only two factors are really the, 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 the higher pull factors. One is knowledge, a deeper, greater, more wider understanding of, in my case, Islam itself, its development, the nature of scholarship, the certainty in knowledge, epistemology. And the second would be the reality uh, in terms of knowing myself, me as a person, my own heart, likes, dislikes, what it is to be a human, to the nature of, of the people amongst whom we live, we claim as our brothers and sisters in faith. I'm talking about just the Muslim community.